Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Death Road to Canada with Dog and Pony. I'm Dog and Pony, this is Death Road to Canada. We're gonna start a new game, cause sadly Adele has been killed. Put it in this empty slot, we've got Eduardo. He's got a healthcare perk and an oblivious trait. His buddy is Bertie. She's a fighter and a very resilient type. Let's start. Eduardo hears rumors. We know this. We've heard this. It's fine. There's no real penalty for getting a teammate eaten by zombies. Just throwing the fact out there. I've discovered this on several occasions. Let's hit the road. Here we are. Maybe we'll learn a little bit about the group. The group finds a rest stop along the road. It looks very quiet from the outside. Our forecast as is pretty standard for the first encounter. A mild swarm with a sluggish aggression. Let's visit this rest stop. Eduardo is equipped with only a frying pan. We know a little bit about him. His morale is pretty good and he has a positive attitude, but apparently he's pretty dumb. Birdie, on the other hand, also dumb. Decent morale and we know nothing else about her. She's holding a hatchet, but let's see if she's got anything else with her. Nope. We just got a hatchet. And a frying pan. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna steal her hatchet and give her the frying pan instead so I can have the hatchet. I will be playing Eduardo for the time being. Let's start. On up here. At first I thought that was like a dinosaur and it's just a bush and I feel a little bit dumb. Walking around outside a little bit. I don't think there's gonna be any loot but I'm not experienced enough with the game to make that decision right away. This axe is apparently pretty good, or that was just a lucky swing. Okay, the first swing was just lucky, but Birdie went ahead and helped me out on that one, finished up the job. There's a couple rooms off to the side here. Getting some decent loot, for the first encounter anyway. Nothing going on in here. Okay, so the there's been a few times where I've thought I've seen loot, and it's just occurring to me now that it's the the grain, the grain effect, like the the film grain overlay we got going on. I'll be more mindful of that in the future, and not and try to get a little bit less confused when I think I see an item. More food, pretty nice. This is a lot of stuff on the floor over here. Let's take this guy out. All right. I'm gonna switch weapons and then pick up this thing. It's a nail board. That's the first time I found a nail board. And it broke. Okay. Guess I'll re-equip re my hatchet. I'm not gonna try too hard to kill these guys, but I did find a gun. She already picked it up. Oh well. All right. I can take that from her if I want. But I don't think I'm really going to have a need for it. At least not yet. Let's hop in the car. Wait for Birdie to get in. Start her right up and give her! Alright. Pretty good condition for food. We use four a day with the two of us. So that's four days worth and a little extra. Plenty of gas for now. A lot of med kits. Alright, let's keep going. I can feel it. This is the time we're going to make it to Canada. The group goes against their judgment and camps in a city apartment because there's no zombies around. When they wake up, the building is on fire. Who leads the escape? I need to learn a little bit more about them. So, Eduardo. Neither of them have very good wits. But Eduardo has a better attitude, so maybe he'll happily, <laughs> happily lead us through the fire. Let's go with Eduardo. Eduardo tries to keep calm and observant. He can't keep calm at all. The group panics. Wow, our morale went way down. He goes the wrong way. The group gets burned. We're both hurt, and we eat. Get away and have a meal. Okay. Dang. But I guess it could have been worse. I don't actually know. Maybe that was the worst possible outcome of that encounter. The group is blocked by another survivor group that set up a barricade to protect themselves. They are distrusting and heavily armed. The person they send to talk is extremely annoying. 
We should try to deal with him. Birdie's gonna take a detour. Let's be safe here. The group decides to take a detour. This is usually a bad idea. What? Detours have always been safe for me. It takes some extra time and gas, but not too much. Lose gas. Minus 25. Okay, we're gonna be running pretty short on gas now. Ooh, we treat some of our wounds. We're all we're all healed up, so that's good. The group drives into a city as it starts to get dark. Try not to lose track of time. Things can get bad after the sun sets. Sparse swarm with sluggish aggression and it's almost sunset. When driving into the city, the group finds a gun shop and umbrella shop. So we're 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 in the city. It wants us to quickly loot, I think. We, we need to make sure n not too much time is passing. Let's go in the umbrella shop. Gun shop seems like it would be better, but with this game you never really know. So let's check out the umbrella shop. I'm gonna keep my hatchet. She can keep her gun. She also has a femur. What a weirdo. Play. Yeah, take him out. Okay, let's, let's go into just umbrellas. Doesn't seem like the most lucrative store, but who knows? Seems like they were doing pretty well for themselves. Themselves? Lots of shelves, though. There's nothing in here. There's no loot. Let's just keep taking swings with these umbrellas. Okay, I guess we're leaving. Maybe there's something else we can loot. Gotta get out of here before it gets too dark. It's 5.55 p.m. right now. 14 days left until we get to Canada. Let's check out this little house. Got some ammo. That's nice. And a gun. Not gonna bother killing all the zombies. We'll do some looting. We're running short on gas, so can't forget that. We'll go here and then upstairs. Take these out real quick. Let's, let's uh, skip that. So. More food. All right. Just, just junk, and then I got mauled pretty bad. Not sure how my health is doing. Junk. Gas. Thank you, Birdie. We are low on gas, at least for this stage in the game. Uh, and we only found one there. This is empty. They're coming up. Okay, okay, okay. Let's get up. Let's get through this doorway. Yeah. Go up this little staircase here. A little bit more ammo and another door. I wasn't expecting there to be even more rooms in this in this house. Upstairs a little. Food? Food. Gas? Food. Okay. What? Is there anything I missed back here? No, sir. Stun them a little and then head right out. I'm taking a little bit more damage than I would like to. Birdie seems fine. I'm not paying very close attention to her, but... Doesn't seem like anything drastic has happened yet. I think we snuck in here without being seen. Or at least not by too many of them. A lot of pistol ammo coming out, but we don't have any pistols. So, not terribly useful yet. I can't hold that and go through doors. Looks like they're starting to crowd the door though. Pipe bomb. That'll be nice. Let's switch back to a different tool. I'm gonna keep, keep this umbrella for at least a little while longer. Last time I got pipe bombs, I blew up my companion and then just died shortly after. I'm not sure if that was on video or if that was the one that that, w that ended up needing to be redone. But I have seen pipe bombs before and I'm hoping to get better use out of them this time. My umbrella just snapped. But I got a med kit, so it's not all bad. At some point, Birdie found a shotgun. I think I left a, a weapon behind here. Yeah, my hatchet. I want that. I replaced it with a gun, I think. No, the pipe bombs. I picked up the pipe bombs there. Oh, man, it got a lot later than I thought. Let's get out of here. I definitely want to be out of here by 9, and it's already 845. I think my car is right up here. Uh-oh. Okay, one more block up. Yes, let's get in, and let's go, Birdie. Come on. Starting the car and floor it. We're out of here, hopefully in time. 19 zombies destroyed. We got a little bit of loot. We're real good on food. 
driving through the night. The group finds an inn, open for business. The owner wrings her hands. It's this weirdo again. She's super creepy, but we're gonna pay the 10 food. The group pays to stay a night at the inn. It's comfortable. No one wants zombies creeping while they're sleeping. More creepy laughter. So our morale went up. We only paid 10 for two of us. It's the same price no matter how many people you have in your party, it seems like. And we, we save two food per person, so we only lost six food in this case. That's not bad. Our morale's up. It actually turned out to be a nice day today. You're right. What a nice day for a road trip. Oh, our morale's going way up. That's nice. The group checks out what appears to be a trader settlement. They are instead ambushed by bandits who have taken it over. One of them looks injured. They demand nine food to pass safely. How much food do we have? Can we afford that? We really can't afford that and then survive another night. So we'll offer to heal his injury instead. Eduardo offers to heal the injured bandit with his medical know-how. He ends up making things worse. The bandits aren't very happy. We're both hurt, but I think we kept all our food and uh, Eduardo's medical ability increased. And he, we increased it without hurting ourselves, only hurting some other group. We did hurt ourselves, obviously, but not as bad as it could be. All right. Are we there yet? Nope. We are days away still. Don't get impatient, Brody. It's outside of Canada. Most of society and civilization has been destroyed. This is just letting us know that food is currency. We ran into an actual trader camp this time instead of bandits, which is excellent. What's this guy? I think he'll, he, he'll try to train our strength. It's an old but fit man in matching gray sweatpants and sweatshirt. He screams something about building mass and bulk with an intense strength routine. He fails, flails towards some heavy objects lying around. You have 10 food left. Give six for training, give nine for group training or leave for now. We're gonna leave. We're still pretty short on food. Maybe we'll, we can buy some. It's me. Uh, he just, uh, I'm saying, hey, get out of our house. Maybe I could rob this guy. I could. He doesn't seem to mind. We got one more food for free. That's nice. The group finds a man selling a bunch of firearms. He's holding a minigun that has both a scope, a laser sight, and a flashlight atta attached to it. However, his selection seems like pretty common stuff. I can't buy that. Ah. I don't want to buy anything. We need our food. I thought I just stole food from that guy, but we, we still just have 10. I thought we had 10 already. I guess not. Or maybe that's just, it doesn't add anything we get while we're here. All right. Birdie's pretty hurt. I might have to trade for her. The group finds a woman surrounded by medical equipment. She claims to be a skilled doctor. She offers to provide health care in exchange for food. You have 10 food left. I'm going to leave for now. I want to see if maybe I can switch to Birdie and charm her. Oh, Birdie has full health. I thought Birdie had lower health. When it's blinking like that, it, it, it's harder to see. Maybe I can charm some of these people if I switch to Birdie. Oh, no. Cancel. Cancel. How do I cancel? I didn't mean to select that. Play. Okay, I guess Eduardo's getting some medical treatment. There's nothing wrong with him. We lost food. That was... That was pretty bad. It still says we have 10 food. Hopefully that's accurate. I'm gonna switch back to Eduardo and play. I guess we're out six food. That's... That's pretty bad. Let's go try to loot some more. Give her! I have no idea. Like, I don't know. Give her all she's got? Is that... I don't know what that's supposed to mean. We are down to five food. We did get one, but then we lost six. There's a dog wandering nearby. It's keeping its distance, but watching the group with guarded interest. Interest. <laughs> Sorry. It's become rare to see a dog that trusts people. You have five food left. I, I want to recruit a dog. For sure, having a pet dog will do wonders for this group, probably our morale. And I hear you can teach the dogs how to drive. And that sounds really fun. So let's feed the dog two of our last five cans of food. The group lures Ada over with food. She knows a good source of meals when she sees it and decides to stick around. 
Ada joins the team. Onward to Canada. Got three food left. I don't think that's enough for the night. Next time we stop, I want to use the car battery to power my game console. No. The dog says no. The car gets stuck in the ditch near a crappy dirt road. The group is close to getting the car out when a roaming horde draws near. Now they must distract the zombie from getting too close. Siege alert. There's no escape. I've done one of these before. We'll try to survive. I... I might tell Ada to rest. I don't want to have to have... A dog. I think this will just be... Oh, man. Rest. Can I have... You're not allowed to rest if you're at full health. So... Let's just keep Eduardo going. I wonder if, like, the dog has higher speed. Oh, she's clumsy. Uh-oh. Let's just take Eduardo and go. We have to kill things. I forgot I was holding a pipe bomb, if I'm being perfectly honest. I know I talked about it at relative length. We need to kill as many things as possible before we get overrun. So this is, I think this lasts an hour. It's 12.35. I don't know what time it was when I started because I didn't look at the clock. Oh, jeez. Um... My one person is dead. Birdie. Birdie is dead. Me and Ada are still alive. And by me, I mean Eduardo. There is no escape. Siege is over. You cannot try to escape. Okay. Is my car here? Do you want to walk back to the road? Yes, let's hit the road. I think... I think I still have my car. I do. Perfect. Birdie is gone. May she rest in peace. The group feels inspired after managing to survive that situation. I don't think we should, if I'm being perfectly honest. They feel like they are getting the hang of this. We're not. Choose a reward for the group. Morale and random skill gain. Morale and one health healed. Strength. Fitness. I really like morale and random skill gain. Because it's two things. You know? Health healed is nice. But only Ada's hurt and I can have her rest for the next mission, I believe. So let's do morale and random skill game. Every day is a great teacher as long as you don't get eaten. Both of our morales increased, my shooting increased, that's Eduardo, and Ada's medical increases. So my dog is going to be really good at treating my wounds. That's wonderful. Okay. We're running real low on food. Hopefully Ada only eats one and we can survive the night. The campground that the group sets up smells terrible. The source of the smell is a complete mystery. We're going to endure the smell. The group endures the smell zone all night until passing out. They are not happy in the morning, but they were at least able to sleep. Our morale decreased. The group is low on food and eats half as much. Okay, so dogs need just as much food as people. That decreases our morale a little bit more. Ada's pretty upset right now. Hopefully we're going to be able to pick up some more food. Where are the exploding zombies and the tongue ones? Eduardo plays too many video games. Bandits are guarding a retracted bridge over a river. They demand anyone passing pays a toll. They want all your extra gas and half your ammo and medical supplies. Refuse and fight. The group knows that every single one of their supplies are essential for their chances of reaching Canada, so they fight. We're both hurt. It's better than losing our gas. We might have lost our gas anyway. We got gas. Eduardo tries... I don't know how we just got gas. But we are now out of it entirely. So we're abandoning our car, and we're walking along. The group continues walking through the countryside. It is very uneventful, but at least there are no zombies or dangers in sight. For the first time in a long time, they are able to drop their guard and walk in some form of peace. Yeah, but we're starving. This might be a short run. Okay. While walking along a dirt road, Eduardo thought that they spotted a car in the distance. It was only when they got close that they realized it was just a giant rock. What a shame. We are very upset. Our morale is steadily lowering. Jeez. After hours of hiking, the group finds a car sitting alongside a country road. It's in great shape, but the keys are missing. A cabin is visible to the north. So it's not too big of a swarm, but they're irritated. We're going to have to search for these car keys. What are you doing? Wield your... Oh, because I had the pipe on there. Okay. Ada, Ada can wield something. So... I, I don't have anything to give her. I, I want to have the gun and the hatchet. 
My attitude is great, even though my morale is low. What's the difference between those? In in this situation, I realize that there are there are different things, but in this situation, they don't seem that different. Let's continue. All right, we're looking for car keys. We got gas. That's a plus. Good job, Ada. So we have gas for the car as long as we can actually get it going. Apparently, we're not really capable of hijacking the car. There's a cabin. They might be inside the cabin, but I've, I've had a similar encounter in a junkyard and they were just laying on the ground. So we're gonna check all outside first. Hopefully bunch all the zombies up together further away from the cabin. So we have more time to explore the inside of it. I wish we could make like noises and distractions. That'd be a nice, nice addition. I can't find the door. There it is. Plenty of ammo. Got the keys. Yeah. This is a set of keys, including some car keys. Eduardo picks it up. Okay. Ah, okay. There we go. I think I hit the wrong button there. All right, there's bones, Ada. Ada, there's bones. Medical supplies, but we're still, I think we're out of food. Come on, come on, don't die. Don't die on me. Let's get out of here, Ada. All right, I'm bleeding. Ada seems fine. Keys fit perfectly, Eduardo unlocks the car door. Get in the car. Ada got into, we're starting the car. And we are gonna get out of here. We might still starve. We didn't get any food, and that's what we're already out of. Plenty of gas. Both low on health. The group is driving through a quiet factory district. They run into a horde distracted with chasing someone down. Let's attempt a rescue. Maybe they'll give us food. Let's do it. Okay. I thought this was going to be one of the encounters that just kind of resolves itself randomly rather than actually having us do something for it. This is fine though. We're attempting a rescue. We're going to get there and they're going to they're going to be really thankful. I guarantee it. Yeah, good. Ada picked up the pipe on her own. Okay, the person does not appear to be here. But we'll have to keep looking. I wonder if we could if we throw these enough if they break. Oh well. Okay. Off to the right. There's no one in here. Who are we rescuing? Oh, there were more doors down below, I think. So, we'll check that out. Pretty crowded in here. Yeah, there's one over here and there's one on the other side as well. We'd really like to get some food. Maybe there was a cafeteria in here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh no. Ada's the only one left alive, and now I am controlling her. Okay. Looks like the dog is a lot better at maneuvering. Okay, the dog can't attack with weapons. Which makes perfect sense, but is a little disappointing. Oh man. Can I use a gun? Can the dog use a gun? No, the dog can just pick up things and give them to me. Like, if I was still Eduardo, maybe the gun, the, the dog could bring me a gun. This way. I haven't been this way yet. I need this person. I need to rescue this person so I don't have just a dog in my party. Though I guess there's nothing wrong with it. I think Ada can drive the car. All right, one more way to go. Hopefully we, re we can rescue somebody. Up, oh, we might have to go down. Nope, up. Oh. Okay. Oh, there's another door. Let's see what's in this room. Oh, we'll go this way first. Food, we got food. We have enough food for the night anyway. Med kits, more food. Enough food for two more days. And it's only 12 days to Canada. Okay. Though I don't know if the dog will be able to fix the car very easily. Hey, look! Lauren says that she really wants to get out of this place. She asks if she can follow you around. Yeah! 
Yeah, you can. Lauren started following Ada. She could be useful if you could get her out of here alive, or a handy distraction if you can't. I agree. Let's go. We need more food if we're gonna have two people in the party, though. Come on. How do I open this? Okay. Gas. Great. All right, let's let's get out of here. It's gonna be a long way back. Lauren, Lauren, what are you doing? Come on. It's this way. She seems to be handling herself pretty well, if I'm being honest. I don't think she needed me. You want to leave this location? Yes, let's go. I think Lauren's out of here with us. She's joining our party. If we let her, we killed 30 zombies. <laughs> While we were here. We did lose Eduardo. With no one left to drive the car, the journey to Canada is at an end. Oh wait, there's still a dog alive. Ada thinks one of one word in her primitive animal, animal mind. Canada. Ada gets the keys, put them in the car ignition, and starts it up onward to Canada. Okay. Where'd Lauren go? Lauren catches up with Ada at a safe spot. She offers a reward and thanks for saving her. So we could either take 15 food from Lauren, take strength training, or recruit Lauren to the team. She's got 15 food. Do we get that if we recruit her? Because the more people you have in your party, the more likely you are to survive. Yeah, let's recruit her. Lori, Ada accepts Lauren to the team. Lauren joins the team. Onward to Canada. Okay. We've only got five food. That's enough for one night. If only we got the 15 from Lauren. That's fine. I don't know why she got rid of it. The group can't find the car keys. After a while, they spot the keys laying inside it. An open gator's mouth? A gator's open mouth? After most humans disappeared, alligators started spreading across the entire east coast. It's rumored the gators may eat zombies and car keys. Do we want to abandon the car? Let's tire out the gator. Ada pesters the gator by chasing it and running from it. Oh no! It hopes it drops the keys. The gator lunges in and chomps Ada when she gets tired. The gator drops the keys. Ada is hurt. Ada is killed. I guess we just got Lauren now. Our dog is dead. It's really sad. Oh, well, at least Lauren's got two more days of food. Lauren finds an empty spot along the road and look that looks good for that looks as good for camping as any. The weather is clear and there's no sign of danger in any direction. <laughs> Lauren can't fool me. Do we risk it or do we? Not get fooled. Let's eat and rest. Lauren sets up camp in this boring but safe looking spot. Lauren eats a decent meal. We lose two food. Looks like we're safe. Awesome. Got one more day of food. Hopefully we can try to conserve your ammo. Attack only when you have to. I agree, Lauren. The grocery store seems like we could loot a lot of food. And that's what we need most. Lauren spots a big grocery store. Many zombies roam inside guarding shelves and storage rooms. It's a thick swarm, but they're calm, so let's get going. Unfortunately, we've lost all our guns. They, they left with Eduardo and Birdie. So let's get in there with our sledgehammer. We don't know much about her. We only know her morale is good, which is depressing because her dog just died. Lauren plans to train an army of anti-zombie dogs. It's not going well so far. Let's play. Our car comes in. Let's boogie before we get swarmed. All right. We're, we're hitting them just to keep them from crowding us too much later. And get them, get, them out of our, get them out of our way for now. I'm gonna want one of these knives. So I'll switch to my empty spot, pick up a knife. All right, it's going okay. There. Okay, I gotta loot all the shelves. Shelves that look like they have stuff on them, have stuff on them. I'm gonna have plenty of food by the time I'm done here. I think. It'd be nice to get another pipe bomb, draw all these guys into a into an area, and then uh, take them all out at once. If I'm lucky, I might get a gun here. There's plenty of ammo. I think I already looted that. More food on this shelf, so I gotta draw these guys toward me. And then sneak around them. Oh man, this crowd's getting pretty big. It did say it was a thick swarm. Pick this up. Okay. 
think I got hit there. That's fine. Take some food. There's more food back here that I would really like to have. I'm gonna switch back to my sledgehammer. Because it seems like it takes them out a little, a little quicker. It could just be the placebo effect. I'm gonna run in here real quick while I still can. Block that off. Luckily I can circle around here if I have to. Oh jeez, this thing has no accuracy. Die! Okay, I'm gonna switch back to the knife. Alright, that does work better when I'm not in as much of a hurry. The swarm's gotta be coming in by now. I think they just broke the door down. As if on cue. Get, get out of here! Get away from me! Okay, I gotta lead the, the, the swarm all the way over here so I can get around them on this side. Perfect! That went really well, even though I did take quite a bit of damage. I actually might lose this one. I might lose it right here. If we get out of this alive, that will be the end of the episode. If we don't, that will be the end of the episode anyway. Maybe I should just... I got it. I'm, I'm pretty low on health right now. Let's check it. Full health? That can't be accurate. I guess we're still gonna loot then, as long as we can. I think we've killed quite a few zombies too. Okay, one more food. I'm up to 10. I think that's just for this, this trip too. So I still got three more. Back at the back at the car. This is a toilet, but it's got some gasoline in it. The first gas we found in this on this trip. I'm bleeding. I'm dying. Wait, I got something in my eye. And we are dead. That was an unexpected turn of events. And once again we have died on the death road to Canada. Dang it! That's all for now. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you in the next episode.